Now, a U.S. Army veteran traveled nearly 2,000 miles to Columbus to live out his final wish of being an armor tanker one last time. After being told he had 12 to 18 months to live, Jay Tennyson set out on his journey to complete a bucket list. That journey brought him to Fort Moore. WRBL's Christina Feliciano has the story. U.S. Army veteran Jay Tennyson describes that sound as the thunder of doom, a sound he heard hundreds of times during his stint in the Army, which ended in 2008. He served as a 19K Armor crew member during his time and deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. I felt really compelled to, to hop back in the tank and shoot Tank Table 8 again and prove myself that I, that I can actually do it. His bucket list dream was made possible by the Maneuver Center of Excellence at Fort Moore. Tennyson reached out to them earlier this year after a diagnosis of stage four stomach cancer, expressing a desire to feel the thunder of doom inside an Abrams tank one last time. Tennyson described it like riding a bike again. I was not prepared for, for, the, uh, for the first boom when I, when I fired my first round. I think that catches everybody unawares. Um, the first time around, but that was, that was every bit of what I remember from before and just as awesome, the thunder of doom. Tennyson proudly wore a medallion on his chest, signifying his membership in the Order of St. George, one of the biggest honors received within the U.S. Armor and Cavalry Association. Tennyson says the entire experience was well worth it. I got to meet a family I didn't know I had and and I was really, I was just really awestruck and, and inspired by, by everybody, the command element, um, all the NCOs, and, um, and even some of the junior list that, that pitched in to help out. Um, so I owe a huge, I, I feel like I owe a huge debt of gratitude to everybody um, who put this together and made it happen. As leaders, we all too often take for granted the impact we have on other people. Uh, throughout our, our entirety of our career. And sometimes it's a very small impact to you that appears very big to them and, and is something that, that resonates with them for the rest of their life. Tennyson wants this moment to live on long after he's no longer here to tell it. I'm going to make a video diary for my daughters for them to view when they're older. Uh, but I'm definitely going to explain to them like, like the significance of this because um, you know this this is the first of its kind type type uh, situation uh, and I'm, I'm the trailblazer for for everyone else to follow reporting in Fort Moore Christina Feliciano WRBL News 3 on your side